Yo, 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 welcome back, guys. It is the drive by guy, so we're going to pick up with part two of the iRacing tutorial for uh, those of you who are interested in the service but have not signed up yet. So, we're still kind of in that introductory period where uh, I just kind of show you the interface, show you some of the menu options here in this episode. Um, just again, so that you don't have to pay to actually see what everything here looks like. Later in episodes, we'll start to get into going into some races and seeing the format and those kind of things. Right now, we're still in part two here, going to be looking at the interface. So I covered kind of the basics. I explained the I rating and the safety rating that's up here in the first video. If you didn't see it, please go back and watch that. But now what we'll do, and I think I had this hidden, what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll just kind of start to dig in a little bit into some of these menus. What what's in there, what you can do, what you can look at, uh, and those kind of things. And, uh, and then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll uh, try to keep it short and we'll move on and we'll, we'll do kind of a new set for um, lesson number three. So first thing here to notice is updates available. So iRacing does, every 13 weeks, does a substantial update. Well, they'll go in, they'll improve the sim, they'll introduce new features, they'll update logos they'll do all kinds of stuff it's always on a tuesday it goes down for a few hours um, and then and they let you know ahead of time what they're going to be doing and then once it comes back up then they work out any bugs and it's usually done by the end of tuesday and that's every 13 weeks so um but however sometimes they do little ad hoc updates something's coming something unique or they caught something after the last update that they want to fix uh, so they did that. They updated a handful of stuff. I didn't update all of it, so they're just letting me know, hey, you got some updates available. Um, it doesn't necessarily prevent you from joining races or anything unless what you want to join involves something that needs to be updated. So anyway, that's all that is. That's not typically there. All right, so if we take a look at some of the the uh, you know the menu items here and, and these items here, so first of all, a search driver, so you can look up anybody that you want to that happens to be on the service and kind of take a look at their stats. So, uh, for example, um, we know that Dale Earnhardt Jr. he races on iRacing, or at least he did for a while. So we'll do a little search, and it looks as though okay, there's two accounts here showing. This one says that the info is private. This one says that it was last logged in on April the 2nd of 2016. I think this is the main one. That's why it's private. So we'll take a look and we can go in and we can see some history on Dale Earnhardt Jr. All right, so it says, look, here's his birthday. Here's a little bit about him, his website. So this is definitely him. Um, looks like started back in 2008 we know this is definitely him he's a class a driver we talked about that in the first video with a 4.99 his rating on the oval side here is 76.83 so he's really high up there but you can tell also dale hasn't been active in quite a few years so it looks like 2010 maybe mid 20 2009 he's just kind of staggered off now is it possible that dale's on here as an you know with an alias name or something yeah that's possible but what this will do and i'll tell you this is one of the menu items up here we can go in and kind of take a look at my profile um, this is showing you the profile of this particular driver it's giving you career stats it's giving you yearly stats so he's got 325 oval starts 183 wins I like to look at the percentages over here 56 percent of his races he's won 89 percent he's finished in the top five and he's led over half of the laps that's pretty impressive over the course of a career and then it shows you he hasn't started an official race official I racing race since 2011 that's not to say he hasn't come in and done some private stuff or uh, things like that that aren't official racing and we'll get into that uh, in a future video and then it shows you their last 10 races and what they did so looks like the very last race that he ran that was an official race was at Talladega on April the 6th of 2011 he started first he finished first he didn't have any incidences at all so Anyway, that's what happens when you search a driver. It basically gives you a whole background on them. Uh, but we'll go back to the home page here, and we'll take a look at a couple of these menus. So obviously home is just going to bring you back home, as I just did. Find official races. 
So there's a few menu items here, official race guide, popular races guide, current series, watch ghost, crew, spot, and then the schedule. So uh, I'm not going to dig into every one of these items just for the sake of keeping the video, you know, relatively short. But what I will do or what I will say is what's really cool about iRacing is you have the ability to go in and watch any race that you want to watch. So if there's some road races being run right now, and there are, we can come in here and if we want to just spectate as long as we have the content. So if you take a look right here, I don't have something in this content. I think the Skip Barber car, I don't have that. So if I want to watch, I do have to have the content. So I would have to make that purchase. But something like this, I do have the Spec Racer Ford and whatever track they're at, Watkins Glen I have. So I could go in there and I could watch this race. Uh, same thing. So there's a handful of races all being run right now. Global Mazda MX-5 Cup. It tells you how many people are watching. It tells you how many drivers there are in that session. You can highlight here and see who's in there. And then if I want to go in there, I can watch. And then also it'll tell me if there's any drivers that are requesting or are open to having a spotter or a crew chief. And you can literally go in and take over controls. You can control what they do on their pit stops. You can take over as their spotter. Um, so you can work with friends on this and a lot of people build teams out and this is how they go in and they do official racing and they go in as a full team. They have somebody that works as their crew member. They have somebody that spots for them the entire race. Um, so it really is a fully interactive sim where you can take on multiple roles. You can just come in and watch. You can come in and help out a teammate. You can do a, you know, a number of things. So I wanted to show you that. Same thing on the road or on the oval side. And then the hosted races, these are sessions, and that's in this menu item here. We'll probably get to in the next video. Uh, but that's where you can go in and kind of start up your own race. It does cost money to do so, but it is relatively cheap. So uh, that's what those are. You can go in and look at hosted races and then also league races. There is an official league system, and that's another menu item that we'll get to in another video. So all of those things are available under this menu item here. And then Something that's really helpful, especially when you're new and you're trying to decide what you want to get into or what path you're going to take, which is an extremely common question that we see on forums all the time. I'm getting out of rookie. What should I do? Well, one thing I always recommend, let's take a look at the schedule. And iRacing does a good job of making the schedule available to everybody so that you can know exactly what you're getting into. So let's say you say, you know what, I'm on the oval side and I've decided that what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into the national series. Um, it's a fixed series. I don't have to worry about building setups. So what all is going to be required of me? Well, let's take a look at that schedule. So, and they'll release this every 13 weeks for every season. So we're in season one right now of 2017. And it tells me here's what the schedule is for the, um, the national series which is down here, not up here where I was highlighting. So we take a look down here at week one, which was back in mid-December. They went to Michigan for 30 laps. Week two was Talladega for 20. Week three, Iowa for 40. Texas, Bristol. So what's the date today? We're right around, I don't even know where we're around. All right, the 13th. So for the week of the, f the fifth week, April the or April January the 10th looks like the Nationals at Bristol for 50 laps so you can take a look at this and you can say okay what content do I have what content am I gonna need does this make the most sense for me for what my budget says for what I'm wanting to do so any person that ever asked that question what should I do next my first thing that I'm gonna say is take a look at the schedule my second thing is going to be, what do you want to do? What do you want to get into? But right here, number one is look at the schedule. Is it even going to be affordable for you? Is it something that you're going to want to do? So luckily for me, I've been on the service for quite some time. I own every single one of these tracks, so I could hop in here and run this entire season. No problem for me. And that's really about it for this part of the overview. So I'm going to cut it off here. We will dig in in the next video into the hosted area. And I'll go in and I'll show you the hosted sessions. Hey, we might even join one so you'll see a little bit of content. But 
Uh, really want to try to keep them short. Go one step at a time so you can get a full feel for what it's like to be on the service, what's available to you, uh, and what you can do. So appreciate you watching the video. Please give me a like and a thumbs up and subscribe and all those good things if you found this helpful. And we will see you in the next video. Look forward to it. Thanks. Bye.